I became a police officer because, like Sergeant Murphy said in the beginning, growing up, I only saw white cops. So I'm from Connecticut. Everybody thinks there's no black people in Connecticut. There are, there are lots of us. But in the police department, all I saw from Connecticut to my college days was white police officers. I never saw any police officer that looked like me. I especially didn't see any female police officers. So going into, from, from when I was a little girl, I would always tell my mom, I want to be a police officer. And she would look at me like, she's whatever, she'll get over it. <laughs> but, you know, going to high school, learning more about, you know, police interactions, the school to prison pipeline and things like that, it made me want more intrigued and want to do it even more. So then I went to college and I became a criminal justice major. And I'm like, yeah, this is definitely what I want to do. And I started being associated with programs like the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, interacting with them and getting to know like their stories and why they became police officers. And it just made me want to do it even more. So it's kind of always been something I wanted to do. I came to Atlanta because the police department looks like the community they serve. So the police department is about 50 something percent black. The community is about the same. Um, and the demographics are the same for black, white, Hispanic, um, and even men and women. So I felt like Atlanta was perfect for me because the people I would be serving look like me. And then there was also a lot of women in the department. So it wasn't like I would be alone. There were other women with me that, you know, would be making a difference alongside me. So that's why I felt like Atlanta was perfect for me. And being a police officer was my dream job. Nice, yes. nice, nice. Yes. Yes. Sergeant CJ Murphy. Uh, I am from Atlanta. Let's get that straight. <laughs> Born and raised in the A, okay? Okay, okay. Um, All right, twin. Been up here. I see. I saw you. <laughs> been up here. The APD for 11 years now, 11 years. So my career has been amazing. I love it. Um, I was in patrol, all of us were in patrol at one point in time. Um, I worked in the gang unit, which is an undercover unit. And then um, also as a homicide detective for three years. I am now currently the supervisor at the academy. So basically, if, if you're smart, and you decide to come to Atlanta <laughs> and be an officer, you would come to me and I would train you on how to do that. Um, so uh, we have about, we have two classes going on right now. You have to be at least uh, the age of 20 when you start the academy, but you have to be 21 by the time you get out of the academy. We do about uh, 854 hours of training to be police officers, uh, including 12 weeks of field training. And we have a lot of alarms because, you know, he's always late. So we to keep going. That sounds so hard in Android. Android's a way to go. But uh, <laughs> um, I love it. Um, I am also a supervisor with the Civil, uh, Civil Disturbance Unit. So when you guys saw the protests and the riots going on uh, here in Atlanta, the people with the shields and the helmets, that's us. Okay? We also do that. I uh, love being an officer, excited to talk to you guys and especially for you to see us. It's important to see people who look like you in uniform. And that's one of the beautiful things about Atlanta. We have a very diverse department. Uh, Banks is an awesome officer and uh